Hi, I'm Dr. Tony Nettleman. Thank you for joining me for the 14th question of the Texas RPLS Q&A review. The call of the question says, a property deed states Vince 382 veras to a rock bound. A modern surveyor found both the beginning point and the rock mound. The rock mound appears to be disturbed. And the distance between the rock mound and your beginning point is measured to be 12,743.21 feet. The surveyor should hold the distance based on the priority of calls. Hold the rock mound based on the priority of calls. Hold the distance based on junior senior rights. Hold the rock mound based on junior senior rights or none of the above. I love this question because this is just like what I've heard from candidates who have taken actual RPLS exams and very similar to my exam several years ago. Like taking your study materials with you on the go? NLC test prep courses are available anytime on any device. Order a bundle today and get access to the most up-to-date, all-inclusive study materials available for the Texas RPLS exam. Visit us on our website for more information and to sign up today. The first thing I'm going to do is go to my best textbook, Brown's Boundary Control, and let's read what this thing has to say. In conducting a retracement survey of the meets and bounds of the boundary, the retracing surveyor must be knowledgeable and apply the priority of calls. I agree with that. So what are the priority of calls? The priority of calls are natural monuments, artificial monuments, calls for adjoining tracks, calls for courses and distances, and designation of quantity. In this list, my rock mound is an artificial monument, which is higher than a distance, and therefore I should hold the rock mound. But there is an extra layer in this problem. Let's go back to our call the question. It says the rock mound appears to be disturbed. That should scream out at you a red flashing light, disturbed. If you have a standard case, you should use the priority of calls. But the priority of calls are rules of evidence, and this can be modified if the scenario calls for it. A fantastic scenario, a fantastic reason not to hold the rock mound is going to be because the rock mound has been disturbed. That's pretty scary. And if you have a monument that has been disturbed, that monument does not have the same dignity as an undisturbed monument. And therefore, I am not going to use the priority of calls in this case, but I am going to select none of the above. If you are given a monument that has been disturbed, do not use that monument. It is a big red flag. And this is a fantastic question to kind of add an extra layer of complexity and make you think, I'm in the field. I found this monument laying on its side. Do I trust that monument location? No way. Therefore, the correct answer is E none of the above. And I would encourage you to read more of Brown's Boundary Control Chapter 5 to learn more about these scenarios. Would you like even more? We have created an entirely comprehensive Texas RPLS exam course. It's got slides, videos, practice questions, and handouts. And we go over all the major topics on the RPLS exam, and we give you the information you need to pass on the first try. Included is a full-length, eight-hour practice exam, which will get you ready for this exam and get your mind set on game day.
Go to nlcprep.com slash RPLS for more information.